Hello and welcome to Spotlight On. I'm Yasmin. This show is provided by the BPMS TV Studio crew. We will be interviewing people of interest around our community. In today's spotlight is Dr. Edward Costa, the superintendent of East Long Meadow Public Schools. Hello, Dr. Costa, and thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for having me, Yasmin. Okay, so what, is, what exactly does a superintendent do? Well, in a nutshell, Yasmin, a superintendent works with people. We work with parents, I work with faculty and staff, I work with budgets, but budgets come from working with people, taxpayers are people. So all in all, my, my daily walk as a superintendent is people, people, people. Industry says it's relationships, relationships, relationships. Uh, it's not uncommon for me to have several hundred emails in a single day um, and have appointments from 6 in the morning till 10 at night. That's the nature of the job, and I love it. So um, what do you enjoy about your job the most? I, I think the biggest um, gratification I get for being a superintendent is seeing our students flourish. You know, here in East Long Meadow, uh, we have a wonderful studio that we're in right now. We offer programs such as our studio course for students that many students across the state, even across the nation, never get to experience. Um, and that's through working with town officials and through parents as taxpayers who provide these programs for students. I think that's the biggest thing that, uh, that gives me gratification. Yeah. How do you affect us as students? Um, well, a little bit of what I was saying, um, the programs. You know, you have to work a budget and you have to work with people. Um, but it all comes down to what will that give to our students, as you say. Um, and that's good teaching, good instruction, good equipment, um, and best of all, great quality experiences for our students. Yeah. Um, when you were 13, uh, did you always want to be a superintendent or did you want to be something else? Um, well, I certainly didn't want to be a superintendent. At 13, um, I knew I wanted to go into teaching. Um, and I don't come from a family of teachers, but I was fortunate to have really good teachers in school. I still remember my first grade teacher, Mrs. Saylor. Uh, I remember my fourth grade science teacher, Mr. Donahue. These are people who had great impact on me. And I had fabulous junior high and high school teachers. I really wanted to be a music teacher. And in fact, at 13, I thought I was going to be the world's greatest guitar player. Um, far from that, I still play guitar. Uh, but I started out as a band director. And that's how I first came on the scene for education and then went into administration. How do you decide for how do you decide on policies for our school like uh, school uniforms? Well, um, it really starts from a discussion. If you think of where a discussion starts all the way to the end of it becomes policy. As you know, we just did a survey across our community with parents and we asked them, "What do you think about school uniforms?" Um, we found out that that subject has certainly changed in opinions from five years ago. Uh, parents are looking at uniforms as, oh, it's a possibility. So we are in beginning discussions. We're certainly nowhere near making it a policy. So policies start as discussions. Sometimes those discussions go on for years. Sometimes a discussion has to be enacted in like a security policy. As you know, two years ago, we put buzzers on all of our front doors. That started as a discussion, and inside of two months, a decision was made for policy. I don't think that'll be that fast with uniforms. I think it's going to be a long discussion. Uh, and that's to really get everybody's opinion. If a student told you they wanted to be a superintendent, what advice would you have for them? Well, I would encourage them. Uh, I would encourage them, first of all, to go into teaching. There are some people who become superintendents who have never been a teacher. And I think that is somewhat can be hard, because I deal with teachers and instructors uh, the education field every minute of every day and I came from being a teacher I think that's important um, so I would first encourage the student to take a look at the field of teaching what are you interested in math science language arts studio multimedia um, and then follow your dreams don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something because everything's possible yeah if you weren't a superintendent what do you think you would be well, I've certainly already been a band director, had a great time being a band, had some great students, some great bands. Uh, I also taught computers, um, and so both of those fields are still very dear to my heart. 
I think if one of these days, if I stopped being a superintendent, I would probably go back into the computer industry, multimedia industry. Um, it's a, a leading force across the world right now. All right. Well, um, thank you for joining us today. Um, well, that's it for us, and we'll see you next time on Spotlight On.